you played eight seasons for the man. Yeah, I was really fortunate. He signed me when I was a 23-year-old from Coventry and... Uh, as I say, eight seasons with him, and I think seven of those as his captain. Fantastic time. So, could, could you really describe your relationship as a close one, Stuart? No, Did... no. I, I always had the impression he never really liked me. If I'm being quite honest with you, I just had that impression with him as though. Why? I don't think I was his ideal type of player. He liked centre forwards that would hold the ball up. People like Johnny Metgod that were silky good footballers. I was a more sort of bludgeoned my way through life as, as a left back, you know. And I, I think he at the end he probably respected what I'd done for the team. But in the main, I wasn't his ideal type of footballer. I don't think. Did you follow with him much? Uh, no, no, I didn't, to be honest with you. Always in fear of him in many ways, you know what I mean, because of, of everything he was. I'll tell you a great story. We signed a, a fella called Dave Curry from Barnsley for 650 grand one pre-season, so he come and joined us. And we were about three weeks into the pre-season. Dave had been there three weeks. And we went to play at Derby in a pre-season friendly and we were sat in the baseball ground. And when Cluffy was in the dressing room, no one said a word. So all the players are sat round. Uh, we were about 10 minutes before we were about to go out to play. And he looked across the dressing room to Dave Curry, looked, stared him straight in the eyes and went, uh, have you found yourself a house yet, Dave? Dave said, no, not yet, boss. He went, don't bother, son. <laughs> <laughs> After three weeks of being at the club, he decided he ain't for me. You, you oh, wow. You know.